And welcome back to Com uh, Metro East <laughs> Community Hotline. Sorry, we're having too much fun here. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media, and I am talking with two of my coworkers from Metro East. This is Peter Goodmanson, who is a uh, community trainer and producer, and Taj Middleton, who is our Director of Volunteer Services and Community Outreach. Did yes. I get all that right? Exactly. That works for me. That was a lot. That was a mouthful. <laughs> so, um, Metro East is always doing fun and exciting things like yes. putting on this community hotline show, but we have something kind of new that's coming up. But mm -hmm. before we do that, maybe you tell me a little bit about why you two are talking about this. Now, Taj, what, what, what exactly do you do here? What, what exactly do I do? I interface with the volunteers uh, oh. of the station, which is this station. I mean, we have staff, have amazing staff. But we are, are, we've got a lot of volunteers and interns that come through here, and I help to facilitate that, bring them in, make them happy. Hopefully they get everything they want out of their experience and they keep coming back, and, right. and that's what I do. And we have volunteers on this program, and now after they've gone through some awesome training with Peter here, or Peter OG, as we sometimes call him. Um, <laughs> did we have them come into this show, possibly? Uh, Shelby here as an intern. Shelby's an intern. We have Sharon and Martin out there. <laughs> um, we have volunteers here. I believe Summer's here today helping us out, and, and it gives them a chance to actually use some of the skills they learn. So, Peter, as the producer and trainer, mm -hmm. What, your job entails what? Well, I just take them through all four core of our classes. Uh, the four core classes are field camera, we have basic studio, studio B, we also teach them Final Cut Pro editing. So there's a lot of different paths people can take. Um, I think what my favorite thing about doing my job is that I get to meet everyone who comes through here. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of one of the first stops for them, and it's, it's right. just a lot of fun to see all that excitement and, uh, and enjoy people making television. It's great. It's great. And people come in here, and then after they've learned a few things, they can get out there and start using it, like working on this community hotline show, which is staff and volunteers, or other programs, other, other projects, and they can go on <coughs> their, own, their own television and uh, doing it quite well. Mm -hmm. So now I understand that we have some other opportunities coming up for our volunteers, not only the ones we're currently working with, but other people in the community. Oh, yeah. And this is mm -hmm. the Neighborhood Conversation Project. Do I have that East, right? East Side, East Side Stories. East Side the Story. Neighborhood Conversation okay. Project. Absolutely. East Side Stories, colon. The Neighborhood, <laughs> the neighborhood Conversation Project. Absolutely. And this is a huge project that's starting this year. Okay. It's really, it's really exciting. Um, it was a grant that we pursued through the Mountain Hood Regulatory Commission. And what this is, is it's, a, it's just as it says, it's the Neighborhood Conversations Project. The purpose is to create a dialogue amongst the, 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 the excuse well me. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very, you know, um, I'm just so excited to be here Yeah, today. good, good, good. Uh, but uh, the purpose is to create a dialogue amongst the diverse members of the community, which w is uh, East Multnomah community. Um, and we're going to do that by p giving them, and you'll see these later, okay. later. Um, but we're going to do that by giving them some of our little mini cameras. Cool. Very easy to use, something that folks are already kind of using in the community these days, but we're going to put those in their hands. We're going to offer them training um, classes and, so, and different uh, forms of support um, through some of our written materials and on our website, or on a specific website, excuse me. Um, in six different languages. Wow. So this is going I, to reach out to some people that perhaps we haven't been able to absolutely, help before. Absolutely. And the, the, the thing is, is that we want people to feel com We want them to share their stories. We want to connect um, East Multnomah County through everybody's stories because there's so many people so many diverse backgrounds so, so many, many stories I'm telling you <laughs> and, and what better way to do that to be completely comfortable than doing it in your own language so um, those <laughs> six different languages are going to be Spanish Russian Vietnamese Romanian and Parapicha which is a new one. I've, I've never heard of that language, and that's a new one to me, so I'm excited about that. Speak to me in I can't. <laughs> Don't I can't. forget, number six, yeah. English. English, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was yeah. that so, yes, and, and in English. But, um, so, so, so we're going to be offering training and different support materials um, in these languages. We're hoping to work with libraries and senior centers and schools and just kind of grab everybody and 
and bring them all in. Cool. Peter, yeah. Peter are we going to have translators, interpreters? That yeah, that's yeah. that's the plan. I mean, we're going to go out on site to all these different little nodes in our community, and uh, it'll definitely help me as a trainer to have a translator there. Um, yeah. But we'll, we'll Until probably Until you've get, mastered all of those languages. Right, yeah, I'm still working on that, that part there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're going to have documentation that's in all those different languages. Um, we're going to have the person on site to help with that. Good. So hopefully it's going to be a really smooth, seamless way for people to learn how to use these cameras and really get their stories told. That's great. And then we'll put them on the website. And will these also be put on our cable channel? These, so what's going to happen is these are actually going to be put onto the website in some kind of um, map that we're going to create. So you can kind of see very, so can, very like, general. Yeah, and, you can and click on the map and you can look at um, the different stories. And then some of these um, projects are going to be edited together mm -hmm. and shown on our channel as well. Nice. Yeah. Now, I, Peter, you brought, brought a video for us that maybe we should take a look at now to um, um, kind of better explain how this is all working. And could you set it up for me? What's the video? Sure, yeah, we just sat down with Rob Brading, uh, Metro East CEO, and he talks a little bit about the project, and we show some cool little scenes. So. Okay, well, let's take a look at that now. Metro East Community Media is a hub for citizen engagement, diverse voices, and modern multimedia technology. Starting today, we're branching out even further. East Side Stories is an innovative community building project that puts easy to use cameras in your hands. We'll teach you to use this technology to become part of a greater vision that represents the diversity and uniqueness of your community. Through this project, we want to inspire conversation among people of all ages, languages, and cultures. Together, we will paint a picture of where we live, how we live, and what we value. So please, join in. Make media that reflects your neighborhood. You are the expert. Share your story. All right, then. Well, that was a great video, Peter. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. So that's, that video is, is definitely going to go on our website when we launch in full HD so people can, can watch it uh, on their computers, on their mobile phones. We just want to get the word out as much as we can, and we want it to look great. So we want a lot of people to participate in this. Yes. How, how many people can we, do you have any idea how many people we can accommodate in this program? Well, how much? I mean, how many how many cameras do we have? We have about fifty mini oh, camcorders that we nice. can loan out. Now, is that obviously, what you have in your hand there? It, it is. Um, these are going to be circulating throughout all these different groups in the community. So, um, you know, definitely more than fifty people are going right, to be right. uh, involved in this project. But uh, would you guys like to take a look at yeah, it? I want to see. Right, show, right. show us, Peter. <laughs> so this is the basic kit that people will get it's when so they, they come and check it out. Yeah, it's, they come in a bunch of different colors, you know, lime green. <laughs> and inside is a nice little pocket-sized camera. Um, is there a position I can place Here, this me, on the let table? Let me hold this. Can I hold it? Can you yeah, tell us about it? Definitely. Okay. So here's the camera. So these are mini camcorders. They're HD. Um, they're very rugged. And we expect that. It's the size that of a telephone, or yeah, mm -hmm. it's the size of a phone. Yeah, it really is. Uh, it's amazing how far technology has come in the past few years, even. And we can get a lot of great quality, good audio out of these cameras. We hope that people who are new to cameras will pick it up really easily um, because it's pretty intuitive how it works. You know, it's just a single button to record. Not a whole lot of work goes into getting a finished product out of it. I remember my very first video camera I got was like. <laughs> I was say, it was not that it was size. This long, and it was really heavy, and it was very complicated. This is easy. Be, it's I mean, easy. This yeah. is great. I love this. And if people are still, you know, wondering about how to use something, if they forget it from their training, mm -hmm. of course we'll have some documentation that comes with it in all six different languages. Um, there are going to be links to videos that people can watch that demonstrate certain things, storytelling tips, all sorts of resources like that. We hope to have on our website and inside the kit itself. What kind of stories are you looking for? We're looking for different types of stories. I think we're going to try a bunch of different themes throughout mm -hmm. the life of this project. And I believe the first theme we're going to be working with is, is family. Is that, yeah, would you family. say that's correct, mm -hmm. Taj? You, yes. know, you know what I want to hear? I want to hear stories about food. I want people to uh, you talk know, about I'm their, sure. their, you know, like what is your, what is your family eat? Especially if they're from a, another country, you know, what are their, I'm you know, sure that's going to come wouldn't up. Wouldn't that be a great thing? I mean, we okay, do, that's we, just what I like. But we, okay. have, we have <laughs> themes, but I'm almost pretty sure that within those themes, there's going to be some nice little nougats of moments that we're going to catch. And those are the mm -hmm. things 
that we want to be able to put on display for everybody, just kind of, you know, go deeper. Yeah, help people to better understand each other too. Absolutely. You know? Definitely. You know? Absolutely. I love that we're reaching out to other communities that perhaps haven't been served, that maybe don't have access to video equipment now because they don't speak mm -hmm. the language to learn how to use it. They don't have, I mean, this stuff is not, you know, granted the prices come down, but it's still not cheap for everybody yeah, to go right. out and have, a, have yeah. a camera. So for us to be able to provide these, now granted we're not giving them away. We are, <laughs> we are checking them <laughs> they, out, right? Yes, they check them out. Yes. And, and oftentimes, um, t language barriers, um, sometimes generational barriers can can be kind of a stopping point when it comes to technology. Mm -hmm. And so this is a way for us to go into the community and reach, like you said, those communities or those people that either don't have access to the technology or there's been a language barrier that's kind of kept them from getting their hands on this stuff. Or there's, you know, it's a it, there could be a generational thing too. Sometimes yeah. I know, like with my mom, it's like, I don't want any, you know, I don't want to touch it because I don't want to, you know. Um, but it's really easy. This stuff is really, yeah. it, it's not like the big, yeah, the, the big one that sits on you. you know, yeah. tape recorder that you had. This stuff, this stuff is really, really easy to use. And so we just want to, we want to introduce everybody to this. Yeah, I can see that. I can see kids totally grabbing it like that and they would have no issue with it whatsoever. But somebody, you know, maybe closer to my age may, you know, kind of say, I don't know about really? that. But, well, I'm you're old, not that old. You're right, I'm not. <laughs> I love you, Tosh. Well, our, our goal is really to just get at least a few people um, who aren't, you know, youth that might pick it up really quickly to do mm -hmm. it. And so mm -hmm. once they do, maybe those other folks will go on the website and see that person doing yeah. it, hey, I can do this too. Yeah. I can yeah. pick it up just like you did. Yeah, and I think this is going to be so simple and so easy and will make it easy for them. That yeah. It will encourage a lot of people to do that. I mean, gosh, you know, you get one of those, you know, you learn how to use and that. And a little you know? tripod too. Oh my little, gosh, little that's a tripod. I know. That is adorable. It's, it's very cute. Oh, show me uh, you how just, that works. You just slip it on. I, th <laughs> I thought you had some funky little toy here, Peter. There we go. <laughs> that is too cute. So, I'm very liking fun. that. So we could, so essentially, you can set it right here. Peter and I could give our story just oh, like that. Oh, cute, <laughs> cute. If I had any grandkids, I'd send it to them. <laughs> say, these, are the, these are the strange people I work with. <laughs> That's great. I love Absolutely. that little tripod. So you have a little carrying case, you have a little tripod. Absolutely. So if people are interested, again, you know, our hope is to go out into the community libraries, community centers, um, assisted living, just everybody. Um, and if people are interested, they can definitely call the station, contact myself, Taj Gosh. Middleton, 503-667-8848, uh, extension 326. Um, or they can email me at Taj, T-A-A-J, at metroeast.org. That's easy. That's yes. easy. And Peter, will you be involved in some of the training, I assume? Definitely. I, I plan to be probably. on site a lot. We're probably going to do some training here at the facility as well. Okay. Um, so I'll be all around. Um, I mean, you can certainly reach out to me too. Yeah. I'm and anxious to see. I'm anxious to see it all put together. I want to learn to use one too because it looks like fun. <laughs> so I want one. You will. You know. No, good. Good. <laughs> will you teach me? Good. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. That's great. Well, that's something to look forward to. So we're looking a little bit later this year. Watch for it. Tell me the whole name again. East Side Stories. East Side Stories. <laughs> The okay. Neighborhood Conversation. Project. Oh, I thought we were going to say it in unison real oh, cute. Okay, so okay, we don't do have to. Not today. Go ahead. East, East Side, Side Stories, Stories the, the Neighborhood, neighborhood Conversation, Conversation Project. Project. Lovely, <laughs> lovely. Nice job. And with that, I think we're going to close. Thank you so much. That was going out on a great note, you two. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Tosh. Thank, Thank you, you, Peter. Don't go away. We'll be right back with the I Have a Dream Foundation. I know you don't want to miss that. So this is Monica Weitzel. We'll be right back with Community Hotline. Thank you.